Hi kids. So, this week, I had to work all week, but at the end of the week I got sick. And therefore I had to make up work on Saturday. We had stuff to do Sunday, so I didn't go anywhere. But, I was talking to a friend of mine in another state up north, in the Pacific Northwest, and we were talking about doing stuff to our yards, and I said something about having to get more gravel because we had some bare spots. Now, this person didn't know what I was talking about. So, I had to explain, this is Arizona. We don't have water to be watering lawns. And even if we did, it would be cost prohibitive. Some people do have lawns, but they are few and far between. So what I thought I'd do is take you on a little yard tour of our yard, front and back and a short walk around the neighborhood so you can see what other people have done. Take a look. looking to see if there's any grapefruit on the tree. It doesn't look like there are. However, see those? Those are going to be grapefruit next year. So this is a typical Arizona yard. Bushes, gravel, river rock at the edge sometimes. Not everybody. We have a bird feeder. We have lots of doves. There's one now. It's mating season. They're a little froggy. We do have flowers. Have some color. Not a lot. Anything you can do to keep it cooler. That flowers kind of sort of briefly, not for long. These usually flower. That one isn't doing flowering this year. I don't know why. These are the same plant. They flower. That one doesn't flower. She just wanders. See lots of mounds just to add depth, texture. This is the orange tree. I don't want to get too close because there is a bird's nest in it right now. Yeah, we can get close. I can zoom a little bit. Got some good oranges. They're just getting ripe. Let's see if we can find her. I can't see right now, so. Sorry about the blur. Those are gonna be oranges next year. Pretty cool. We're gonna have a lot of oranges next year. Better yet, those are oranges this year. And they are almost there. We tasted one this morning. It was pretty good. We'll be using that when I get back from Las Vegas. 
What are we using it for? Screwdrivers. Making some juice. A little more green with colors. These got pruned. They took a hit in the winter time. Because believe it or not, it froze. Best yard ornament we have right there. Such a good girl. So that's our front yard. I'll be right back. This is I guess a typical front yard. It's typical in our area. I love that plant. It's so pretty. Oops. Sorry. We're in the middle of a yard revamp here. We're redoing the drainage. This is the neighbor's yard. He is also in the middle of a yard revamp to redo his drainage. It's an issue here. Let me take you and show you another type of typical yard. You're gonna look at the street for a minute. I don't wanna show anybody's address. This is the neighbor's yard. He's gone cactus. And palm tree. And you may or may not know it, palm trees are a lot of work. He's out here all the time doing palm trees. I don't want that much work. This gets covered with Christmas or uh, Christmas hats, like Santa hats, at Christmas time. All the tall sprigs of the cactus, they each get a Santa hat. That's an organ pipe. Prickly pear, another organ pipe. Let's see if it's got any pears left on it. These are what used to be prickly pears, or what will be next year or next time. That's where the fruit's going to come from. If you see prickly pear jelly, that's what they make it out of. I think. I'm not positive. I know I'm not picking them. Those needles are sharp. This, unfortunately, is another typical yard in Arizona. At least when you live somewhere that doesn't have HOAs. It's too bad, too, because that could be a really pretty yard if they took care of it. Most of them aren't like that, though. Hang on. Most of them, though, are just kind of like this. I'm trying really hard not to get an address. I don't want to show anybody's address. That's rude. If 
fences are mostly black. A lot of places they're just chain link. But for privacy sake, most people try to get block stucco, stucco looking. See? Everything stucco. And a lot of people here, the front porch where they sit. Focus, focus. Focus. I was trying to focus on the like that. They may have an umbrella like that for extra shade. But we have the back area, so we don't come out front very often. Except to work and keep it decent looking. You have to keep your cars in a garage or under a cover. She's vicious. Lots of trees, lots of trees, lots of trees. That's our gum tree. That is the car cover. People keep their toys in there. And then they keep their cars in the garage. But some people have those in front of their house. It's an adjustment, huh? Way different than anybody who's used to having a lush green lawn. People around here, it's just not a thing. It's just the way it is. People elsewhere are like, well, where does your dog go? What, is, what does she do? She goes in the rocks. And it's actually a lot easier. It's easier to pick up. Um, the only problem is, for her, is... She can't go out and roll in the grass. For me, that's a plus, because usually if she's rolling in the grass, she's rolling in something. Something that some other animal has left behind. So, for me, that's a win. Um, it's a lot easier to pull weeds. It's a lot easier to just water the plants. We have everything on an underground drip system. So everything's on a timer. We don't even worry about it. It just comes on. Every Saturday morning, the trees water. Not a big deal. It's just done, which is great because I'm not going to remember to water. My dad's not going to remember to water. It's dealt with. Uh, I pick up weeds or pull weeds in the backyard twice a week when I'm picking up other presents that have been left for me. And my dad does the weeds out front, eh, yeah, a week or two. Depends on what the weather's been and how much they're growing. But that's it, that's a tour of Arizona typical yards, at least typical in our neighborhood and most neighborhoods that I've seen that are about this age, the style of house, things like that. Um, so let me know in the comments, do you think you could deal with uh, a gravel yard? I love it, I think it's great. Let me know how you feel about it. Thanks, kids. Yeah. Yeah,